Harvest Time, I'm Rosanna, and if this is your first time with us, welcome. We are so glad you are here, and we want to connect with you. So please take a moment and fill out our connection card, which is located in your program. On the back of this card is our prayer request section. If you have any needs, please fill it out and drop it in the offering basket. Also, we have a gift for you, a book entitled, Since Nobody's Perfect, How Good is Good Enough? by Pastor Andy Stanley. Please pick up your copy at the Welcome Center on your way out. Tuesday is Christian Life Night. Join us for Pathway, our small group journey to freedom in Christ, addressing all types of hurts, habits, and hang-ups. We meet at 715 in the sanctuary. Wednesday night at seven o'clock is Family Life Night. Be with us for Fresh Look. We'll be taking a fresh look at God, Jesus, the Bible, and lots more. It's a night of live teaching and discussion that's perfect for new believers and anyone who wants to explore the Christian faith. We also have In the Beginning, a verse-by-verse -verse study of the book of Genesis. We'll explore the beginning of everything, and as we do, we'll see what God is saying to us today. This class will meet at the Fairways restaurant across the street. The current student ministries will be meeting in the sanctuary for all of our 7th to 12th grade students. For our children, we have Royal Rangers and Missionettes on the lower level and offer nursery care as well. Friday morning at 10.30 is prime time, our ministry for people 60 and older. Join us for Bible study, worship, and prayer. We'll be meeting in the prayer room. Friday evening at 8 o'clock is Connection, our Portuguese language service. Come for a refreshing time in God's presence and fellowship. Okay. Now, here's an update on Team Ukraine 2015. Team Ukraine has been very busy planning and preparing for our missions outreach to the Ukraine. As many of you know, we will be running a week-long vacation Bible camp as well as ministering in the local church, a special needs orphanage, senior home, and local villages. We ask that you keep us in your prayers during this very busy time of preparation. We also have two other ways you can help us. First, we are currently in the midst of our donations drive. We are collecting items such as jump ropes, frisbees, watercolor planes, and deflated basketballs, soccer balls, and beach balls. We are also collecting children's vitamins to distribute to our 100 plus VBS kids that we will see. Donations will be collected from now through June 14th. Drop off bins are located in the lobby at the missions table. Secondly, we are holding a Ukraine pasta and meatball fundraiser on Friday, May 29th here in the sanctuary. Henry Watridge, co-founder of Masters Foundation will be our special guest speaker that evening. Come out and hear about the need in the Ukraine and what our Harvest Time Missions team will be doing to touch the people of Ukraine. Tickets are on sale for $5 in the lobby and a love offering will be taken. For more information about either of these events, please review the inserts in your bulletin. And Harvest Time, thanks so much for supporting us. And lastly, on behalf of our missions committee, thank you for your faithful giving to your mission pledges and offerings. It's because of your generous hearts that we are able to partner monthly with missionaries like the Floyds and organizations like the Masters Foundation who are impacting lives in their respective countries. Here at Harvest Time, we are a blessed people because of the opportunities we are given to fulfill God's great commission across the nations. As a result, I know without a doubt, we will see God's hand extended, not only to see the completion of phase two, but to exceed all that God has in store for us. We will continue to pray his miracle working power of provision and grace over each of our lives. If you have any questions, please feel free to stop by our Welcome Center and pick up some information or visit our website at hgchurch.com. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for our church updates. That's all for this week's news. God bless and have a great day.